Bobby Wilson here, and I want to thank you and congratulate you for purchasing a Moonwood. I have with me Director of Instruction at the TPC Scottsdale, Rob Rochelle, who is my TrackMan guru. And what Rob and I want to do is give you a couple of tips that will help you maximize and utilize your Moonwood. So people are going to ask me, how do I set up to my Moonwood? Well, is it a fairway wood? Is it a hybrid? Is it a mixture of an iron, which is a hybrid and everything else? What I want you to do is find the bottom of your swing. We've talked about this, but I want you to set up, first of all, a little bit closer to the ball. Because of the way of the lie it's set up and the way our engineers designed it, this is an easy club to hit once you set up. So I'm gonna stand up a little bit closer to it because it is shorter. The other part is, when I'm trying to hit down on a shot and really keep it low, I play it just back since I'm right-handed, just right of where my the bottom of my swing is. If I want to hit a ball a little bit further and higher, I'll move it just left of that because it'll take my shoulder tilt and I'll launch it more. So for you, I think, because I believe the Moonwood has created a whole new category for golf, especially, here's what I think it's going to be called for you amateur golfers. It's going to be your go-to club. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to play it just left of center or just barely ahead of your bottom of your swing, just to start off. So I'm going to do that right now. So here's where the bottom of my swing I feel like is with my five iron. So my Moonwood, I'm going to move it maybe a half an inch further to the left, more towards my target. And because it has the super glide sole, it's going to be just as easy to hit it, whether it's back or forward, but I like it forward. And I'm just, since I'm a little bit closer, boy, I caught that really clean, really high. I've got Rob here. He's going to give me some numbers on it. I think it's probably the best one I've hit. And normally when you talk yourself through a shot, you hit it good. You don't let the demons come in. So you sit there and you go, okay, Bobby says move a little closer to it at setup. Bobby says just barely at the bottom of your swing, just left of center of it, and then just let the Moonwood do the work. And I just hit that one. I'm going to guess, Rob, give me a number. 217 in the air, that's 141 feet of height, so beautiful apex. That land angle, super sharp at 52. That thing is rolling nowhere when it hits the green. So if I have a 220 yards, 220 yard shot, and the green is there, I, you know, normally with your four iron or your three iron or something like that, it's not going to hold the green. I want the Moonwood to bring it in high, let it hit soft. Amateurs, how about those tough par threes when you didn't have enough launch angle, enough height on that shot, your mid iron or your four iron or whatever we're going to call it, and it hits the green and scoots to the back of that bunker. The Moonwood is the perfect club for that shot. So I just said to you guys, when you're on your par three, that one, it's hard to hold the green. Let's talk about how we're going to tee it up. I'm going to tee it up where I always like to tell people, I want about half of the ball above the top half of the club. That's with driver, that's with three wood, that's with any utility club. The reason for that is the way the club is designed and the center of gravity. So the other part is, I'm gonna tee it up. That's about half the ball above the crown of the club, I believe right there. The other part is because it's teed up, what am I gonna do with my ball position? I want you to think about this. I remember Ben Hogan telling me this. He said he moved the ball an inch and a half in his stance from his wedge to his driver. I could never figure it out. And then I figured out one thing later, about 30 years later. How high was the T height at that time? An inch and a half high. So all he was doing was changing the bottom of his swing because the ball was teed up, the bottom of his swing changed, and so he moved it forward. Just something brilliant that a man that was one of the greatest ball strikers of all time did. So what I'm going to do is, I told you before, when it was on the ground, it was just barely a half an inch forward of my bottom of my swing. I'm going to move it just a little bit, probably an inch, because I've got it teed up, well, or a half an inch again, and I've got it teed up. Now, the one thing I want to do with this, what's the biggest key when you ever have a ball teed up? You want to bump the tee. You don't think about bumping the ball. You think about swinging, bumping the tee, and finishing your swing. You never think the ball is the objective. So all I'm going to do now is I've got it teed up properly. I've got it in the right position in my stance. Now that ball's gotten to leave a little bit higher. I know it's spinning. I know it's going to come down soft. I've moved the tee. And guess what? Let's see what Rob gives me on that one. You hit it so high, it takes track in a while to measure the thing actually landing. It's got a hang time number. I think a punting coach in the NFL would love you to they death. They would love me that one. That's 214 to carry, even steeper. That's the steepest of the day, 54 degrees of land angle. So typically we'd see a hybrid, like a low launching hybrid, come in about 22 or 24 degrees of land. So okay. that's 30 degrees higher, super soft, 215 in the air. 171 feet of apex, that's almost double a PGA Tour player, and that's because your speed, 103 with that hybrid, or with the Moonwood, fantastic. So Rob, I'm a professional. Yep. I can play a little bit, I still have a low handicap. I can hit this club as far as my four iron and three iron. Yep. I hit it higher, it spins better, it comes down softer, I have a lot more control and I'm a lot more consistent. What would you tell me to do? 
Put it in your bag. And in fact, I'd probably tell you put two in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you on that one. So let's recap what you want to do with your brand new Moonwood. You want to play the ball at the bottom of your stance, at your ball position, or just slightly ahead of it. That's to allow the super glide sole to work. The other part is, I want you standing just a little closer to it, because you stand closer to your wedge, to the ball, than you do with your hybrid. So this club is the length of a five iron. So it's not your hybrid length and you want to stretch out. You want to stand just a little bit closer. Nothing else changes in your unique swing. That's when we're hitting it off the ground. When we tee it up on those par threes, which I know it's going to help you with, here's what I want you to do. We tee it up just barely where the ball's about half, half of the ball's above the crown of the club. We're going to move the ball position a little bit further, closer to our front foot. If you're a left-hander, it'd be your right foot. And then we're going to go ahead and swing through, and we're going to bump that tee as we hit it. And that's what you want to do with it. And I want to send out a special thanks to my friend Rob Rochelle, <laughs> as again, the Director of Instruction at TPC Scottsdale and also the Master Guru of the Trackman. And I want to thank Terra Vida, and you're going to enjoy your Moonwood. It will be your go-to club.